My name is Jami Olakisan. Uh, I'm a partner with TY and Stan Young, and I'm the head of assurance for West Africa. Uh, so assurance at TY consists of audit, financial accounting advisory services, forensic and integrity services, climate change and sustainability reporting. In this part of the world, there are a number of challenges. Some are similar to the challenges being faced in the developed market, and some are peculiar to us. One of the challenges include one, availability of data, especially when you want to determine the fair value of something that is not traded in the active market, and you need to derive data, uh, get data to be able to do that valuation. So availability of data is one of the biggest challenges. Then the second one, as already discussed, during the session I had today is when you are doing valuation for financial reporting purposes, aside from you as a valuer, knowing and understanding your valuation standard very well, you equally need to understand the financial reporting standard, which is IFRS 13. Whatever valuation you are doing, at the end of the day, has to comply with the requirement of IFRS 13 when you are doing it for financial reporting purposes. So all the valuers in Nigeria need to be aware of this. Not only real estate valuers, but the other valuers that value intangible assets, financial instruments as well. Okay, so number one, because I'm not a valuation expert, right? The valuers, the real estate valuers, they are the ones that are conversant with the valuation standards that they are using. But if they are, like I've said, we value for different purposes. We value for financial reporting, for investment purposes, for compliance, for risk management. If you are valuing for financial reporting, you need to look at what the valuation standard requires, what IFRS 13 requires, and ensure that whenever you do that valuation based on your standard, there is no difference between what you've done and what IFRS 13 requires. Thank you.